Okay, so I got this 70-inch uh, Sharp TV, and as you can see, we have a 3-1 blink code. Three short, one long, however you want to say it. One long, three short, three long. But we're going to determine if it's either the power supply board or the main board. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Okay, verify the model number on this TV. This is an LC70C6500U. So this is where we're going to start on our power supply board. As you can see, the main board to the right, TCON at the bottom. And there is a regulator on this board right next to the plug that goes from the power supply board to the main board. The regulator is usually right there by it or right there on top. As you can see, Q7120, uh, that is a 12 volt regulator. It is just uh, bent under the heat sink. Um, and what's happened is, it, is that you would not get the 12 volts and you would think it's a power supply problem. And as you can see, that pin number one says 12 volts PNL. Keep that in mind. Okay, so this is a picture of the actual regulator. This is a three a KIA 378. I'm gonna go over the pins. The, the 12 means it's 12, uh, 12 volt regulator. Pin one is the input. Okay. Um, pin two, which is there, that is the output, which should be 12 volts, okay. And pin three is ground. And pin four is the voltage to switch the regulator on or off. There should be about 2.77 volts there. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna go to a like pinout diagram and it shows you right here. Uh, it's a little small, uh, let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, here we go. Pin one, of course, is the input voltage, which is the 13 volts. And um, all the way down to pin four, which is the on off. Okay, now a good thing about the TV is the actual LED on front uh, actually stays solid for about a minute, which can which will allow you to make some checks. Uh, you have to make your checks before it starts flashing. So I just plugged it in. Um, the light on the front is solid. I'm gonna go to pin four, I'm sorry, pin one. Uh, it is 13 volts there, so we do have input voltage to that regulator. Pin two, there's nothing. That should be 12 volts. That should be the 12 volt output of that regulator. Once again, pin one, 13 volts or 12.8 on my meter. Pin two, nothing. Pin three, of course, that's ground. And pin four, we have no cut on or off voltage. That is the key, okay? If you do have that, and you do have the 13 volts coming in, uh, just go ahead and change that regulator, okay? That's it, that'll solve the problem. There's a guy that did a nice video, um, I'll put the link in the description on checking that. Now, another thing we wanna check is pin 14 and pin 16, where it says PNL, P-O-W, PNL power, pin 16. Let's run that by you again, pin 16, PNL power. Okay, as we look, uh, that is the voltage that we need coming from the main board to actually cut on that particular regulator. As you can see what it says right here, uh, I can't see it right now, but you can read it. We do need that to cut on the 12 volts for the TCON board and um, I forget what else, but uh, that's what's happening. We are not getting our 12 volt output. And I'll just go ahead and check it. Uh, I did kind of mark it on my plug. I'll go ahead and check. Uh, that is the power supply on, pin 14, uh, which is three volts, so that's pretty good. And I'll go to the P and L, P O W, and we have absolutely nothing. Now keep in mind, the TV is just plugged in and the light on the front is solid, okay? Otherwise, when it starts flashing, uh, all the, everything's gonna shut down. So you have to make your checks while the light is on and solid. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and change that main board. Um, I did find another one. Okay, same exact board. I'll put the part number in the description. And the first thing I actually tried to do was heat the board up, which I usually do if I'm missing a, especially on an LG, if you're missing the power, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're missing the backlight on uh, voltage, uh, just go ahead and uh, put your uh, hot air station on about 400 volts. I'm sorry, 400 degrees, and um, just go back and forth with, with a swooping motion over the main microprocessor I see, and take something metal like a flathead screw or something, you know, like and just kind of like press it down like every 30 seconds. Do that for about three minutes and let it cool down, and then check it out. But of course, that did not work, so um, I am going to just replace that other the uh, main board, the other board that I had in stock. Okay, now I'm gonna plug my TV in, and as you can look through the back, you will see the backlights come right on. Okay, if you, if you put that main board in there and you're getting a two, five blinking code, uh, there's some plenty of videos online how to go into the factory menu. I think you have to hold like input and volume down and just do, uh, reset the uh, error code. Uh, but I'm not gonna go through that in this video. But as you can see, we do have backlights and we have a menu okay so the tv uh is working hooray 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 and i'm gonna go back to that plug And like I said, that pin one, it does say PNL 12 volts. So that means that you have that you definitely need that PNL signal from the main board to turn that 12 volt regulator on. And I'm sorry you can't see my meter. Uh, my cameraman had to leave and take care of a customer in the front. So uh, it was really kind of hard for me to see because I don't have a monitor. But anyway, uh, I am getting, of course, the 13 volts again, the input, the output. As you can see, my media did change to voltage. It is getting like 11.96 volts. That's 12 volts. And this is the main pin right here. That's the on-off pin four. Um, and come on, I think my cameraman finally came back and he adjusted it for me. Um, there we go. We are getting the 2.7 volts on pin four. That is the on-off cut on off voltage to cut on and off the regulator so it is on and I'm actually going to go over here to my P O or P N L P O W power okay P N L power and that's the uh, power supply on voltage it did go up to 3.3 volts and then I'm going to go to there it goes we do have three volts there and 3.3 volts on the pin next to it. So yeah, we do have our PNL POW voltage and everything is working correctly. So guys, thanks for watching and make sure you do subscribe to my videos and uh, hit, the hit the notification button. Big dog out.